In ancient Egypt, a tale as old as time. Isis and Osiris rule the land. My wife, my Isis, my Amunet. You're my sun and my stars. My brother, I will love you until my last breath. His brother Set. Set was a jealous man. Jealous of the king. Jealous of his power. But most importantly, jealous of Isis, Osiris's wife. Set was family. But for his jealousy and for his love, he was willing to do anything. For this, he was even willing to take the life of his own brother. Set had his brother taken by force and cast alive in a tomb. Isis, horrified and heartbroken, vowed to save her love and bring him back from the dead. She snuck into his tomb at night and tried to use her magic to bring him back to life. My brother, my husband, I will love you until my dying breath. Live again so we may avenge and punish the kingdom of followers have turned against you. In order to complete the resurrection, she had to first properly put him to rest according to the ancient tradition. But before Isis could finish his burial and start Osiris's resurrection spell, she was caught by Set. What do you think you're doing? You're mine now. Osiris' soul shall be lost in the land of sorrows, and I will never let him rest. Set takes Osiris's corpse and commands it to be carved up, and each piece driven to different parts of the land so he could never again be resurrected. He is now the ruler of the dead, and he shall rise up with an army of the undead to kill you and all of the world of kingdoms who turn against him. You cannot resurrect that which has no body. He is torn to pieces. A body is just a vessel, and black magic is strong. And as long as there's a representation of an effigy, he will again walk the earth and revenge us both. I will find the pieces of his body where I have to and make them whole again. We will destroy you all for your betrayal! God, it's totally blue. Yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you hear that though? We might get lucky tonight. Dude, I don't need luck. I've been tapping that ass since junior year. Yeah, well, not everybody has a steroid-induced dicking session every day. Yeah, dude, I don't even know what that means. Because, <laughs> you know, big and stuff is with the... <laughs> dude. I have there. Just some advice. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I can't believe we're missing the dance for this crap. Crap? This is the easiest I am going to get all semester. If every class had a policy, you can't fail as long as you attend a sleepover with your hot boyfriend, I'd have A's in a year. <sighs> oh, okay. I take that back. I would kill to go to the dance right now. Yeah, I know. You know, we never really stay at those things anyway. The boys get drunk and we get horny and... Yeah, at least here we don't have to worry about babysitting these two. Right? Besides, I'm sure somebody brought some party favors to help the night along. What's up, Reading Rainbow? <laughs> Goody, more time with the intellectual duo. You know, Amy, I didn't think I would need Viagra until the age of 80, but you sure as hell know how to make a man go flat. Ha ha. <laughs> what I miss? Nothing. Just Dustin improving his impotency. <sighs> Is that so? All right, students. First, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart
for being such amazing students this semester. Now, I know it's your last term, but I want to wish you the best of success when you take your degrees out in the world and do what you love to do. Now, as you all know, my friend and world-renowned Egyptologist, Dr. Nasir, does just that. In fact, he was in town only until today, but he graciously extended his stay over the weekend following the generous donation by the White family of some rather astounding Egyptian artifacts. <laughs> As I was saying, well, I'll just let the man speak for himself. Dr. Nasir. Hello, I am Dr. Nasir. I am an Egyptologist, as I'm sure you are all aware. I specialize in ancient Egyptian artifacts pertaining to Egyptian low gods and magic. The White family has donated, among other things, some priceless artifacts and a faceless tomb. We are to be very professional and accurate when recording the data and findings from these, as it is very important to my research. And I expect you all to behave as mature adults. Professor Shields, I presume? Oh, hi. We spoke on the phone, but I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. I'm the museum curator, Miss Reginalds. Oh, yeah, so nice to meet you. And thank Dr. you for this Nassir. wonderful opportunity. It's such a pleasure to have you here, as always. Thank you, Miss Reginalds. I... Nancy, call me Nancy. Miss Reginalds was my mother's name. God rest her soul. Uh. <laughs> We are absolutely just delighted to have you here and speak next month. Thank you, Ms. Reginald. Yeah. Sorry, Nancy. You're right. My passion is being able to bring my research and studies back with me and share them with the general populace. <laughs> that is that is so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. My research partner and wife thinks it's quite fascinating as well. Your research partner is, well, it's fantastic. Very exciting. So, well, I want you all to be very respectful and appropriate. This is Henry. He is the security guard. If you need anything, call the visitor's number, and Henry will answer at the guard desk. That is, unless, of course, I'm out doing my rounds, in which case I'll probably run into you later anyway. So, if you need anything, toilet paper, Windex, Henry, here's your man. We'll be locking up now. So if you need anything else. Uh, no, no, ma'am. We're all here to counter for. Mm. Uh, thank you again for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle and Jay. We gotta go over the truck and start bringing stuff in. Well, as soon as the guys bring the gear in, why don't you guys head down to the basement, put your stuff down, unpack your gear, and start getting settled. Oh, is there someone who wants to stay behind to help me translate the inscriptions in the tomb room? I can lend you an eye, sir. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And a mouth and a hand. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> Looks like something out of Hoarders. King Tut edition. It's a new stuff. I cannot believe that old bag kept all this stuff. I don't know how she could sleep with all this creepy stuff in her house. Maybe these are her ancestors. Maybe she just wanted to be close to her past. Maybe in her old age she was fearing death. Ancient Egyptians actually viewed death in the afterlife as something beautiful. If I were old, fearing death, I'd I think something beautiful would comfort me. You know, if you're trying to get her to notice you, acting like Bambi is not the way to do it. Just a little friendly advice. What are you doing? Who was all that Mother Hubbard stuff? Nothing. Rob? I'm sorry, Professor Shields? Yes, Amy? What is this? Akir Kalam? Hmm. I think you should ask Dr. Nasir about that. I mean, that is his specialty. He is the expert here. He's not just another pretty face. <laughs> okay. Um, Dr. Nasir? 
What exactly is it that I'm reading here? This is an amazing find. It is what appears to be the lament of Isis. I've never heard of that before. What is that? The lament of Isis is said to be what she used to raise people from the dead. Does she really do it? Isis was a very powerful sorceress, a goddess. But it was never known to what extent her magic was believed to reach. This, this is the most profound artifact we have found regarding her as a sorceress to date. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. Anybody? No. What? What the hell is that? Dude, man, don't you pay attention in class? This is that ancient er erection incest stuff that Shield was talking about, bro. Yeah, I think <laughs> you mean resurrection incense. Yeah, whatever. It's something. Yeah, I'm sure there's incense that resurrects people. No, dildo. They used to use this in ancient Egyptian ceremonies, and magic and stuff to raise the dead. Jeez, read a book or something, man. What? I read. Before I roll the papers, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring anything? Man, you had perps. Fuck perps. Fuck them. This stuff is way, way stronger. I mean, they used to use this stuff to hallucinate. Where'd you get that from? Put it down. Dude, back up. Back up. Shh. Come on, they used to use it to raise the dead. If they can use it to do that, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it'll get us high. I mean, come on, guys. This stuff doesn't even exist anymore. When are you guys ever gonna get a chance to experience this? Whatever. All right, fuck it. Down. I'm in. Ha <laughs> well, ha. What, what if Professor Shields comes down? Chill out. They're not coming down, Nancy. Yeah, but if the professor... The professor's not coming down. He's with Amy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so? So everyone knows they're bumping. What? Dude, you know, man. Spackling the tile, icing the cake. Heels to Jesus, master in the beach, plumb in the Jesus, someone make him stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, screw it. I'm in. Ooh. What do I do? <laughs> All right. All you got to do is sit back and enjoy the ride. Almost. That's a fine job, Amy. Thanks, Professor. So, uh, have you decided where you're going to do your internship next year? Um, I don't know. I have a list of expectancies with open spots. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, I tweeted my top ten picks on my Twitter. What's a tweet? <laughs> Nothing. There are a few different programs I've been looking at. You know, there's some great museums overseas. Oh. What? Well, I just assumed you were going to roll in a local internship. Yeah, I'm sure your wife will love that. Amy? I know. Well, I could enroll locally. I mean, they are very competitive. You know, you are my best student. I guess I just don't really have anything holding me here. But if there was a specific reason for Excuse this... me, Professor? Could I have you come take a look at this for a second? Yeah, sure. Uh, we'll continue this conversation later.
Oh, I'd like to have some fun. Oh, I'd like to grab your bum. Ooh, yeah. So the horse goes, that's not my foot. That's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. I got one. I got All right, one. let's hear it. The guy's walking along the beach. I've actually heard this one. This God, is really fun. quiet, Captain Buzzkill. Go on, Dustin. I want to hear this. All right, so a guy's walking along the beach, and he comes across a bottle. Out of curiosity, he picks the bottle up. But upon further inspection, he realizes it ain't a bottle at all. It's a magic genie lamp. So he gives it a little rub, and out comes the genie. <laughs> the genie says, I will grant you any wish you want. Your wish? is my command. So he says, Genie, I want a cock that touches the ground. Then poof, his legs fall off. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. That's awesome. Come on, man. Pass that shit. Ooh, look at Kyle trying to be <laughs> all hard. I am hard. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I do shit that... None of you would have the balls to do. Like what, Kyle? You still live at home with your mom. You go to church with your grandma every Sunday. You don't even speed. Well, for your information, being a family man doesn't make you any less of a man. I live at home because my mom's senile. And there's free food. And I do speed. I got a ticket last week. Criminal speeding. I was caught doing 20 over. I, I, I got a vouch for him on this one. He actually did get us. Speeding ticket. He was 20 over. I was there. How fast were you going? <laughs> he was only doing 35. He was in the schools. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to be bad. You need to live a little. Let your hair down. Whatever. At least I'm not a self centered prick. <sighs> Take that. Don't mind Felicia, man. She's just cranky because her aunt flows in town and I have no desire to earn my red wings. Mm. All right, so who else has got a joke? What are you doing? I'm looking for Amy's teats online. <laughs> I think you mean tweets. Same thing. Oh, no. You definitely don't want to get those two mixed up. That would be the difference between you having a job and not. So, what exactly is it that we're looking for? Well, so little is known about ISIS and her ties to the dark arts. And that was such a huge portion of her life. Well, why hasn't anyone discovered anything about it yet? They very well may have. However, we can't be sure. Because we don't know her name. I thought her name was ISIS. Every god is given a secret name at birth. One they only use among other gods. Why? Because knowing the secret name of a god enables one to contain his power. We went over that in class last week, Amy. Really, I'm a little surprised at you. I wasn't there. Tonsillectomy, remember? Well, Doctor, maybe today we will be the first to discover her real name. That's the hope. And 27 years of research. Why don't you go ahead and read me what that says? What do you see? It says... The dead shall rise to walk among the living and roam the worlds again to curse those who damn them. Fear them now as power arises. Through tide and sand and wind they shall rise. The dead to walk among the living. Forever they are now undead. Looks like you finally found the trail you're looking for, Doctor. Yes, my old friend. I think I have. Thank you for this. This could finally lead you to the... Finding a book. I know. Think what that would mean for me. For my research. You deserve it, my friend. And the bartender goes, Come on. Why would I wish for a nine-inch pianist? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's go back upstairs before Kyle here has a conniption.
It's okay. Just he's just messing with you. He's like a big dumb baby giraffe. Like a big dumb retarded Neanderthal giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh good, you're all set up to go then. We're so, so good to go. <laughs> <laughs> While you guys were gone, we made some amazing finds. Today, I'm gonna to be able to share a brand new discovery with you all. We are the very first people to come across it in centuries. Well, Dr. Nasir, it certainly seems like you have everything under control. Why don't you fill them in on what they missed? Amy? Come help me grab some supplies for everyone. <laughs> Who has heard of the Lamentabysis? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought we'd get to be alone. Why do you think I came on this trip, Robert? You already have an A in your class. Just like your former uh, extra credit. So, so. I think I finished that conversation we started earlier. Sure. Right after we finished something else, I started. Don't go on the fritz now! Damn it! Damn it! What the hell is that? Mm, that's nothing. This place is older than time. It's just a wood cellar. That was not the wood cellar. Really, Amy? I'd expect that from the others, but not from you. What was was that? It's a woman. Woman? What? Stand back. Stand back. Amy, you gotta get this here down here. He's gonna wanna see this. Robert! Where are you? Robert! Robert! Look. Look. Wait, wait. Robert! Oh my god, are they? Yeah. Oh, gross. <laughs> Looks like Dustin's not the only one getting all the action around here. <laughs> Amy couldn't handle this thoroughbred, so she jumped ship and went to Professor Shields. Gosh, what a way to make some metaphors. Whatever. Such a Neanderthal. 
Well, I guess I'm not the only one who thinks you're a Neanderthal. Whoa, 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 excuse me? What? What's your problem? I, nothing. I, I don't... No, you got a problem with me, man. Just come out and say it. I, I, I don't have... You, you don't like me because you like my girlfriend. No, no. no I, I... Take, take a really long look over there. Because girls like that, they don't go for guys like you. No, you're right. Girls like that don't like guys like me. No, they don't. They're like big, dumb, brooding assholes with size complex. Oh dudes, dudes, yeah. dudes, oh, yeah. dudes, come whoa, on. Whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 ladies. No need to roid rage it out now. I doubt either one of you want to look like Van Gogh after the other one goes all Mike Tyson, huh? I'm sorry. It was my fault. I started it. It's all smoke's getting to my head. Come on. Bring it together. For love. It's cool, man. Really? Good. Now we're like one big happy dysfunctional family again, huh? Do you know what your problem is, bro? No, but sure you're going to tell me. Well, aside from the fact that you're a pussy, you see what you want in life, man. You just don't take it. Oh, yeah? How's that? Well, your thing with Serena. What thing for Serena? So you've had a thing for Serena since high school, man. You never did shit about it. She's dating Dustin right now, because he wouldn't take no for an answer, man. For fuck's sake, I don't have a... I don't have a thing for Serena. Why does everybody keep saying that? Well, because you're so obvious about it. I mean, everyone sees it. Except for you, apparently. I mean, come on, man. Whatever. What do you know? You can't even see straight, let alone be perceptive. Yeah, well, you're so obvious about it that messed up or not, I can see you pining for her from across the room. I can't even read this stuff in front of me, man. <laughs> it's because that's a map, not hieroglyphics. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to get me some more of this. Resurrection incense, man. <laughs> Do you think it says using case of glaucoma? 
But in your case, I think it's giving you glaucoma. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. Jay's just being an idiot. If you guys are messing around with any of those ingredients, I need to know. <laughs> this isn't a joke. Those are highly powerful tools used for witchcraft in the black arts. Come on, man. A little magic never hurt anybody. I mean, dude, look at Chris Angel. That guy gets poon tossed at him left and right. Magic and illusions are just tricks and white magic. But the black arts, voodoo, do not mess with those things. All right, man. The Egyptians we are tracking were great sorceresses. One in particular, Isis. Those were her tools for the dark arts. Those were her tools for raising the dead. Yeah, dude, but didn't you say she was, Isis was kind, man? Yeah, she was once. What? But after Osiris' death, she changed. That doesn't make her type of magic any less dangerous to us. Once you open the doors to the black arts, you're leaving them open for many things. Things you do not want to encounter on your own. Besides, just because someone was a good person in life does not guarantee you they'll be the same in the afterlife. A spirit that cannot move on, that is stuck in our realm, especially a spirit that go through a great emotional horror. Well, let's just say for someone as powerful as Isis, dead or not, she could pretty much reign unstoppable. So if the legends are true, that would make sense. Osiris' death was due to the betrayal of his entire kingdom. No wonder Isis vowed to return with an evil army of the undead. I would too. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. I mean, it's worldwide genocide? He's, he's just saying this stuff to scare us. He, come on, you don't expect us to believe in ghosts, do you? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, take it easy on her. Well, looks like she uh, needs her rest <laughs> after, um... After the drilling. <laughs> hey, guys. How's it going? Henry, right? Yeah, my uh, monitor just broke down, so I thought I'd come in and uh, see if you needed any. We're good, but I'll let you know if we need something later. You do that. Oh, wait, Henry. Looks like her taste in men has really declined. <laughs> Guess old shield doesn't give him the one-two punch anymore, if you know what I mean. I need you. What? Um, where's Professor Sh Sh Shields? The professor is waiting for you. He said to get a big, strong man to help him lift the tools. <laughs> Are you sure he didn't just ask you to find the biggest tool you could? You know, Amy, if you need a quiet human, God, you're just a freak. Uh, um. Oh, okay. God, you're covered in blood. I thought I said I'd tell you if I needed a hand. Ah! Oh. Hey. 
Has anyone seen Professor Shields? Uh, yeah, Amy and Jay just went to go get him. Why, what's up? What's up? is I may have just found the staple to my years of research. Everything I've centered my work around is here, now. That's amazing. What did you find? It was believed only to be a myth. There's very little evidence of its actual existence, but I believe I may have just found the Book of the Undead. You mean that book they were looking for in all those Brendan Fraser movies? Something like that. In those fictional movies, they were seeking the Book of the Dead. This is the Book of the Undead. What's the difference? The Book of the Undead is an ancient book of dark magic used solely by Isis. She created this book of spells and dark magic to seek revenge on her brother Set for killing her husband, Osiris. Wait a minute. Now, I, I know Set and Osiris were brothers. And that means that Isis and Osiris were siblings and husband and wife? It was a different time then. And to keep land and power in the family was not uncommon. Sounds like ancient Egypt was the Kentucky of its time. So what's the deal with the book, Doc? Why is it considered a myth? Unlike most of the artifacts, this was not shared. It belongs solely to Isis. Since it was her book of magic and one of the primary contributors to her power, it was said she kept it very close. And that being the case, no one else has ever seen it. So had she had a proper burial, it would have been laid to rest with her. But because she was tricked into death, what, they sold or burned all of her belongings? And she could not move on in the afterlife. The Book of the Undead has been missing for centuries. And it turns out it's been here the whole time. This is amazing. Isis truly was a great woman of her time, and a great sorceress. I knew even in death she would have hidden this well. This. This. Congratulations on your find, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, back to business. Could two of you please go and Bring in the rest of the group. Oh, I will. I will. I get it. Great. Uh, Dustin, could you go with her, please? I'll be back before you can bat those beautiful brown eyes. My eyes are blue, you ass. Whatever, sir. Serene, jerk. Real Prince Charming you have there. Excuse me? Nothing. Oh, no, no, no. You know, I've known you for a while now, and you've always been so rude to us. What is your problem? Why do you not like Dustin and me? I don't think I could hate you even if I tried. Oh, okay, well then, what is the real reason? I just don't see why you're with him. Why are you with him? Seriously? I know you two have a lot in common, but generally he doesn't treat you that great. Common courtesy aside, I don't think he really knows what it means to compliment a lady. I love Dustin. Right? He might not say the right thing all the time, but he means well. Well, we're comfortable. <laughs> Look, I know it's not the best reason to be with someone, but I guess, I guess I'm just the type of girl that would rather be comfortable and satisfied than risk being alone to be happy. That's the most depressing thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <sighs> yeah, I've never really been on my own before. I've always.
is building relationships. I've never been single for more than a month. I guess I just don't like the idea of not having that person there to back you up. I've never had a tight-knit family, so whatever relationship I'm in, it's my support system. And you really think that if you weren't with Dustin that you'd be alone? It's hard to meet guys these days, you know, with school ending and growing up. We have to. We have to get our adult jobs and the real world and all that change is so scary. Well, as far as stable goes, you sure picked the anorexic cow in the bullpen. You have any better suggestions for me? Yeah. Me. Yeah, okay, well, I'll uh, have to remember it's an open market. I mean it. I just want you to know that, well, you have options. You should never settle for something that isn't good enough for you, especially you. You deserve the world. Thanks. That's it. I'll um, have to remember that. Uh. So, I'm just gonna let you finish up here, and I'm gonna go see if Dr. Nasir has anything else for us to get started on. Swamps. So, I mean, I love my new car. Well... It's not really new, because you can't really get a new 1998 Honda Civic, but... Alicia? Hey, I'm just... Felicia! No! Get me out of here! I'm trying! The door's stuck! Are you okay? Whatever do you mean? Whatever do I mean? You were screaming bloody murder in there. You scared me half to death. I'm sorry if I frightened you. I saw a scarab on the floor. A scarab? Do those things even exist anymore? I thought they were like bugs from Egypt. And what was with the door? It was like sealed tight. I couldn't even get in after hearing you scream. The wind must have pushed it shut. What wind? This is the tomb room. As in airtight, like a tomb. Are you just fucking with me right now? Because that really wasn't cool. You know, fuck this. I'm fine with three. We couldn't find him. You weren't gone that long. Look, this Look is Doc. Little... We couldn't find him, all right? Are you okay? What, ha what happened? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just sick of doing all the work around here while Professor Mary Kay Letourneau teaches French to Amy. Okay. All right. Come on. Kyle. Let's all go find the rest of the group. Enough splitting up for today, I think. Which one of you was down here? We all were. This was where Shields told us to set up all the gear. Which one of you was messing around with that sarcophagus? It looks like it was broken into. It's cracked open. Who did this? This isn't a joke. This is priceless museum property. It, it wasn't like that when we were down here. Honest. Whoever did this 
had better come forward before the curator and the police are involved. Don't you know there are security cameras in this entire building? Sooner or later, the truth will come out. Ah! Who? The security guard. Okay, we can't jump to conclusions. Whoever, or whatever did this aside, I'd like to spend less time standing here exposed and more time trying to get out of here. I'm with you. God, you guys are dumb. This is just like a scary movie. Everybody freaks out, splits up, and then panics. You all have cell phones, right? Use one. Call the security guard at the front desk. No, he's the one who probably did this. What? Fucking kidding me! My cell phone only has one bar. It won't work. <clears throat> There's no reception in here. Guess if it is a security guard, can't really call for help now. The police can't help us. What are you talking about? What did you mean when you said whoever or whatever it is? It won't work. I know these words. Uh, I, I, I think there's a little more important things at hand here than just your work, Doctor. We can't let her win. She's already won. This is Isis's sarcophagus. Who cares? What does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with what happened. I recognize it from the markings. There's a dark ancient Egyptian prophecy which held the sorceress would again rise and breathe life into a lover Osiris. The people feared her, so they killed her, put her in a tomb, and encrypted it with a spell so that she would forever be encased in the spaceless sarcophagus. I'm surprised the spell contained her. Someone let her out. Whoa, or a burglar stole the body. I mean, it's like you said, Doc, these are priceless artifacts. Okay, okay, so, so our options are either it's some psycho security guard or a burglar or some demon from the crypt. That is who's down here with us? Who cares about who done it? Right now? Right now, we need to leave. Where's Amy? Oh, God. Amy. And Jay. I'm sure they're fine. We just need to stay calm and find them. Let the cops find them. I'm not doing the whole scary movie. They shouldn't go into the basement, but they hear their friends scream, so they go into the basement to find them. In real life, you run. You don't go back for your friend. Real heroic, jackass. Survival of the fittest. If you're dumb enough to get yourself in the situation, then you need to be prepared that you're the only one who's going to get yourself out. Look, we're wasting time here. We need to find the rest of the students. Now stay behind me and stay quiet. We don't know what we're up against. Fine. But we're not splitting up. Go grab the gear from the corner. Let's get moving. Serena, will you get the lights, please? Oh, my God! Amy! Amy! Amy, oh, my God. Wake up, Amy! Amy? Are you guys okay out there? Yeah, we're fine. Kyle! Give me a hand with this. Serena, how's Amy? Is she okay? I, uh, I, I think she's all right. Just, just unconscious.
happened to his arms? How can somebody do that? We need to get out of this room. We need to get through the LS. Come on, Kyle, let's get moving. Serena, get Amy up and moving. Okay, Kyle, on the count of three. One, two, three. What? What are you doing? Don't tell me you've never thought about it. I've always fantasized about you. What? Really? I mean, no. You want me to stop? No. I mean, yes. Why? You know why. Serena's the love of my life. It may not be this one, but... Shh. Relax. Oh, I'm about to relax. All over the fucking place in a minute. Please, please wake up. Oh, God. Thank God. Come on. No, 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 are you okay? It's not, it's not your blood. It's not your blood. Come on. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. Amy, what is the last thing you remember? Are you sad about the professor? What? Yeah, of course. Don't worry. We'll both be just fine real soon. What do you mean we'll both be just fine? He's dead. Ah! Oh, thank God. Hey, man. We found Amy. We have to get out of here. I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but... Dustin? 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 No! Dustin! No! 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 So... Where is Legs? Where the fuck are his legs? Oh my god! Where's Felicia? She's probably dead like the rest of them! We need to stay calm. Calm? to focus on keeping the rest of you safe before we do anything else. Okay? <laughs> what about Felicia? I can't leave her down here. You're gonna leave her down here? To die? She's probably already dead. And we will be... If we don't get out of here. Don't. Don't. Oh my God, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. You were with the professor. What happened? Oh my god. Robert! He just... <laughs> the last thing I remember is being in the basement with him. It's stupid, but... It was her, wasn't it? We're not safe here. Let's move.
Spell. What? Isis. She's casting a protection spell. For who? And for what? To protect her. To keep us from leaving. That spell will lock this museum down. She's making us her tomb. What? Where are your sacrifices? Not exactly. Why are people's limbs missing? I think she's trying to fulfill a prophecy. She vowed to return from the dead an exact revenge on the people for killing her and her king. She's trying to resurrect her husband, and for that, she needs a body. Oh my God. If she needs a body, then why is she only taking parts from people? Because to successfully resurrect her husband, she needs to reenact his death. Osiris's body was cut into many pieces, and each limb was strewn over a different part of the land. She has to put him back together. Wait, my my phone. We already tried that in the basement. I only had half a bar. Yeah, but that was a brick basement. I mean, we're in the lobby. There's probably phone lines out there. What is it you are not understanding? She will not let us go so easily. She will kill us all. Come on, I just need one bar. The desk. There's a phone. We could try a landline. No dial tone. Oh, we're funny. <laughs> in tempo in Canton, is strong V hey. In tempo in Canton, is strong V hey. In Canton, is strong V hey. In tempo 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 in Canton, is strong V In tempo in Canton, is strong V hey. In tempo in Canton, is strong V hey. Something like that, otherwise... Otherwise what? Well, did I hear too? No, no I, I didn't say that. 
but I still feel him inside me. Crazy. Certainly. Look. I can't promise everything's gonna be okay. But we have to try, all right? Never settle for anything less than you deserve, remember? Oh, come on. We have to find Dr. Nasir. I'm not going to let you get away again. Soon we will be together, my love. I vow to avenge you, and together we will rule the earth. We will slaughter everyone who pretended to be in our flock. We will rule the earth again. Free up all the traitorous hordes, and everyone will suffer and burn. I was so worried when I didn't see you two come back. Well, what's left of us has to stick together. So what's the plan? Do we even have one? Excuse me for saying so, Doctor, but your protection spell didn't do shit. Yes, and unfortunately that was a miscalculation on my part. I copied this spell from the Book of the Undead. I should have realized that a spell like that from her own book wouldn't affect her. She created them. So what you're saying is, we're fucked. No, I have a new plan. If we're going to stay alive, I'm going to need both of you to help me. Oh, oh yeah, because that worked so well for Amy and Felicia. Do you have any better ideas? We have to try something. What is all this? While Isis has powers, she is still weak. That is until she can raise Osiris, king of the dead. After that, she will be unstoppable. They will control who lives, but more importantly, who dies. Looks like we don't have any other options. What do you need us to do? I'm going to start reading this entrapment spell. And when I do, I expect her to come gunning for me. I need you two to empty and prepare that crate so I can enchant it. We need to try to use it as a sarcophagus and trap her in there. Bet you're wishing you'd take that flight right about now, huh? Where were you headed? Back home? I grew up in Mansoura. When I was a boy, my stepfather would beat me so hard I'd pass out. It's horrible. But my mother always said to remember that no matter what, he always meant well. I don't, I don't understand. It was hard for a scared nine-year-old to even conceive of. Said that the cruelest of evils are often done in the name of love. I have all the pieces to your puzzle, my love. The body is just a vessel, and death is only temporary. Soon you'll be freed into this realm. Run, tate, hallya, run, tate, hallya, run, tate, hallya. Banished from the world in which you came, no longer here to kill and maim. Back to the pits, bowels of hell. From this earth, you are expelled. You thief! You fool. Did you think I didn't know? Descend in a set. Did you think you could fool me twice? If I'm a descendant of Set, then I'm a descendant of you and Osiris. No. Run. Foolish human. I... 
Love comes at a powerful price, doesn't it? Yeah, love is sacrifice. I know. This bitch! <sighs> rut tut pay alia, rut tut pay alia. This is not your day one. Rebirth from darkness into the light. You were born into the plane of living, yet your soul is that of the dead. You are free to wander among the worlds. From now until the end, rise, king of all realms, and cleanse this earth, plague like locusts with betrayers. Serena? Kyle? No! Ah! No! 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 A2 Zevius. A2 Zevius. A2 Zevius. My love! You have returned to me. You've always been by my side. In life and in death. My wife. My Isis. My homeland. Together we will raise an army of darkness to wash over this land and rule once again. Each god is given a secret name at birth. They only speak these names among each other. For if the wrong ears heard, they would be ruined. Knowing the secret name of a god enables one to have its power. The ancients believed it was the key to the soul. We'll live together, my love. We will rule a dead nation until we can rise again. Death is but a detour to our strong. I will love you till my last breath. My brother. Excuse me, did you just come from the museum? I'm Roger Windham with the Star Chart Press. I'm doing the write-up on the new exhibit. Could, could I get your name? I am known by many names. Hello, Roger Windham, Star Hi. Chart. I'm Miss Nancy Reginald. Just call me Nancy. Nancy, nice. Pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm hearing a lot of good things about this new exhibit. I know. <laughs> you're, you're much younger and handsomer than I thought. Thank you. You're welcome.